Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to flag off the first convoy of trucks carrying oil from Loki Cha into Kana County. That's going to be happening on the 3rd of June. Now, the project will utilize existing wells in Turkana County to produce 2,000 barrels of oil a day, and the crude will be transported to Mombasa by road. Tulo Oil had produced 70,000 barrels during an extended well testing program in 2015, which will be uh, the first oil cargo to be trucked to Mombasa. The oil will be stockpiled at the Kenya Petroleum Refineries and then exported. So this very good news for Turkana residents. We want now to speak to uh, the governor, Josephette Nanok, who's joining us on phone with regards to that. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for joining us here on News Centre. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, good morning, Linda. I can hear you clearly. All right, thank you. Okay, so we, of course, want to first hear your thoughts on uh, this uh, move. Of course, the flagging off is going to be happening on the 3rd of June. It has been a long time coming. What are your thoughts on it? Thank you, Linda. Indeed, uh, the, 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 the announced transportation of oil on the 3rd of June, the flagging off, is good news for Turkana. Uh, initially, before, as you know, that... Uh, uh, the issue of early oil transport has been there for more than a year, but there were certain specific issues which uh, the locals in within Turkana County and also the county government were concerned with, particularly on, on the legislation in regard mostly towards uh, revenue sharing. Uh, the, last week we held marathon meetings with uh, the president and, and his team and uh, we came to a consensus mm -hmm. we agreed on this. Mm. So this removes one of the obstacles that has been preventing the early oil from moving. And then the second one was about the road, uh, which was meant to be fixed. Uh, in fact, uh, the handicap now is the Kainuk Bridge, but the, uh, we've been given assurances by the Ministry of uh, Infrastructure that this week, uh, that section of the road that has been difficult due to heavy flooding will be possible to be able to allow the trucks with oil, not only the trucks with oil, but also commercial vehicles to begin uh, moving. All right, Governor, thank you for that. Now let's just talk about something very very critical that you also just mentioned, and that is, of course, the sh uh, sharing of revenue from the proceeds of this. Are the residents of Turkana comfortable with, um, is it the 5% that they will be getting, and also the county government will be allocated some 20% of the total revenues? Is that in agreement with the residents? Linda, as, as you know, before the negotiations, we the residents were pushing... The residents of the county government were pushing for a 20% allocation to county and then 10% uh, a 10 allocation to, to the communities without capping. But then, uh, on the other hand, the national government had a different view. Uh, it was reduced community allocation on the bill that is in parliament to 5%, but imposing capping on both. So when we went to negotiation, we went to negotiation to seek a 50-50 uh, middle ground with the national government. And in our discussion, we were able to remove the biggest element that uh, people are opposed to, which is uh, uh, the capping of the revenue that is provided to them. Uh, but also, in a spirit of give and take, we agreed to a 5%. Majority of uh, uh, the local residents are agreeing into this. And uh, the entire of this week, there will be sensitization meetings across uh, uh, the two sub-counties where oil has been found to tell people that the consensus agreement was born with is the best uh, for the moment. Um, as we conclude our conversation, Governor, how do you hope this, of course, will accelerate development uh, in Turkana County? Um, okay, I think the deal has been struck. Uh, the next thing will be Parliament once it resumes back is to, to finalize the enactment of the law so that uh, this one is reflected in, uh, in the law governing this sector. Uh, we are also, at the county, have also begun working on the county bill that is going to define how, how the revenue well, allocated to the yeah. county and community is going to be shared. We are also finalizing on our That's side our county integrated development plan to just give a hint on... Uh, productive sector that uh, will be uh, where once revenue comes in from oil and other sources uh, will be going into this productive sector so that the economy of, 
of Turkana can be turned around uh, to benefit the locals and, and the country. Thank you very much, Governor, for speaking to us. Uh, you have been speaking to Betty Kialo. Um, this is, of course, the new centre. The Governor for Turkana County just giving us the details, really, of uh, that flag off that is expected to happen on the 3rd of June. Uh, President Turu Kenyatta is expected to flag off uh, the trucks that will be, uh, of course, transporting uh, oil from Loki Cha. And, of course, this is a great milestone, as you've heard there from the Governor. All right, we move on to...